Okay. September 30th, Hamilton Convention Center. Three Alliance Promotion brings you another stacked card. A beautiful event with some really, really tough competitive fights. The fight that we are talking about right now is about these two gentlemen. None other than J.M. Bianco and Samuel Moses. Uh, otherwise known as J Money and King Moses. Um, we've got a very interesting fight lined up for you. We've got two young undefeated super middleweights lined up to, to face off. This is the first time that we're doing this, but this is not the first time that they meet. Uh, gentlemen, how are you doing? Doing good, man. How's it going? Thanks for having us. All right. So, um, I won't take up too much of your time, but I do have to touch on some stuff that is probably old news for you guys. So as I previously mentioned, uh, you guys have actually met before. You've you've actually fought before in the amateurs, uh, twice before. JM's got a bit more of an amateur pedigree with 30-odd fights, almost 30-odd fights. And uh, King Moses only has three amateur fights, two of those being the JM, and on top of that being losses. Now... Amateur is a way different game than professional. Uh, three rounds. There was a split decision and, and a unanimous decision in there, if I believe. Uh, the first thing I want to ask for you, uh, now that you're both pro, for you, Samuel, uh, how do you feel that, you know, this time around you're, you're going to be able to bring something different? I feel good, you know. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank God for, you know, for having me here. And I also want to thank you guys for having me here. Uh, I want to thank Three Lions. And I want to thank um, my team for getting me ready for this fight. Um, I'm very excited for this fight, I am. And honestly, the amateur is the amateur. Now we're on to the, to the new level, which is professional. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, it doesn't really change anything for me because I know what I'm capable of doing. So it's just, it's, it's going to be the same old thing. You know, that's all it is. Okay. Oh, and so, I, uh, I just wanted to say, sorry, real quick. I just also wanted to say, um, in the amateur uh, pedigree, I do have more than more than three fight. It's just that because it was on box, right, for the national stuff. That's why I have, like, only eight, three, three fights on there. Just letting you know, just in case. Oh. All good, all good. I am limited by by the internet, after all. Yeah, no but worries. um. No worries. So Jam, he says it's no big deal. The pro game's different. Uh, now we know the pro game is different, but do you really see this as a different opportunity to bring something different, or do you see this going any way different? Uh, no, not at all. I mean, um, well, obviously, like he, uh, Sam said, you know, uh, this is a pro, so uh, this is a little bit different. Uh, but we both have something uh, on the line that's uh, very important. Um, obviously, we got the Canadian title. Uh, we're both undefeated. So I think, uh, at least for me, uh, I'm extremely motivated for this fight, and I am working my ass off in camp. And obviously, I got a really big and good team around me and we're going to make sure uh that we're going to do everything that we can to uh get the title so uh i, I want to touch on this since uh you know you you've been with three lines you've been able to put together five wins uh you're undefeated you've only got two knockouts um do you think that this now that you're doing eight rounders the fact that there's a canadian title that you've got an opponent that is equally as dangerous. Uh, you, do you feel that, that you're you're gonna be able to bring something a little different to this fight? A hundred percent, sure. And at, at at the end of the day, you know, it's a, a fight's a fight. You know, one punch can can change a fight, right? So, a hundred percent. You know, I'm killing myself in camp, and again, I'm extremely motivated for this fight, and I'm I'm working really hard. So, for sure, man, there's gonna be fireworks. You got two undefeated fighters, two of the best super middleweights in Canada. So. Something uh, great is bound to happen. So we are talking about knockouts. I got to point out, Samuel, uh, for your six wins, you do have five knockouts. Uh, a little higher in the spectrum as far as percentages go. Now, um, most of your fights have been fought in Mexico. 
And I've also noticed you've been able to have some interesting training camps and some interesting mentors. I'd like to know if you, you, you'd care to speak on all of that. Um, honestly, from, from where I started till now, I want to, I started in a, in a small gym called Sugar Ray, uh, met my coach there, um, and then moved on with, uh, Louis Sargent who helped me out and then met with, uh, Sean and then went with Zoltan who's helping me out right now. And now I'm humbled to be able to, to learn with the hall of famer coach, whose name is Nacho Bernstein, um, wonderful person, you know? Uh, she taught me a lot, teach me a lot, uh, still in my corner. And honestly, if you could have come as well, that would be, that would be wonderful. Um, my experience there is amazing. And the fact that I was able to spar with champions who are out there to be able to learn from them, to be able to grow from them, to be able to like understand the hunger that you need to, to always win. Um, it gets me to another level. So I'm very excited. You know, so. Can can you speak on this particular training camp? Like, it's, it's your first time fighting in Canada. You've done most of your fights in Mexico. Uh, yes. You know, in Canada, your fans that back home will be able to watch this on pay-per-view. Yes, how's, sir. How's training camp for this particular fight gone? Have Have you done anything that you, of note that you feel you, you'd want to speak on? Well, all I can tell you is they're kicking my ass. And kicking my ass in training camp is the best feeling you can ever have because it makes everything else go smooth. So I'm enjoying every last of it, every grind, every pain, every single thing that I'm feeling right now. I'm enjoying it. And I just can't wait for the 30th. That's all. All right. So, JM, oh, we're, you're, he's saying things like Nacho Beristan, uh, making a fanboy out of me. Um, how how has your training camp, you know, how has your overall training camp for this particular fight? We spoke a bit about the the Canadian title and and what it means to you, but how's the training camp gone for this for you? Training camp, honestly, it's going pretty good so far. You know, um, everything that we're doing is very particular. I'm sparring with some really good guys. Obviously, you know, I have really top notch sparring right now, um, and honestly, I've. This is the best that I felt going into training camp so far. Uh, we kind of had a pre-camp, I guess you could say, um, prior to this camp that we're in right now. So um, I've already been in shape. Uh, my mind is right. Again, I got a great team around me. And um, yeah, man, I honestly feel so good now. And I can't wait to see how I feel on the 30th. So I, I got to point this out to actually both of you. I, I don't know if you've had a chance to click on the little link on BoxRec, but have, have either of you had a chance to see who's held that same Canadian title before? And and uh, I was wondering if either one of you could speak on what it means to hold that same lineage. Uh, yeah, no, I saw neither that. Neither one of uh, you have? Oh, yeah, I know that David nope. uh, has it. Uh, I think Adonis Stevenson. Um, also, uh, what's his name there? And uh, from Quebec, uh, he's light heavyweight now. Um, Jean, Jean Pascal. Jean Pascal, yeah, correct? Yeah, him as well. Um, and I think the last person to have it was Stephen Frandrick, if I said his name right. And that was ten correct. years ago. So the the title's been vacant since then, which is correct. Been a long time. But it, but it <laughs> but yeah. it, it is a title. The to to make people understand. Um, right now, in, in your weight division, you, you guys are respectively uh, number three and number seven out of, uh, I believe, 19 or 20 other fighters in your weight division. And the two guys that are above JM have like about 30 fights or so apiece. So they're way further along in their career. It's the likelihood that either of you would face those two other gentlemen, uh, very unlikely. So uh, this being a Canadian title, it's it's legitimate based on both of your standings, both of you being undefeated and both of you being Canucks. But, um, you know, the overall lineage that the winner of this fight, the guy that walks away with this with this title ultimately gets to uh, 
hold the claim to that same lineage of Jean Pascal, David Lemur, Donna Stevenson. There is something to this title. It does mean something if you do win it because it's a clear indication um, other than the standing of top three out of 20 guys, it is a clear indication of an ascension and a direction for your career. Uh, now, uh, I, I know, Moses, you, you knew already. It, it seemed that you were already aware as well. For you, speak on it. What does it mean for you to have this opportunity, seeing as how all your fights have been in Mexico? It's not like people could fly in and watch you easy, not as easy as they could in Hamilton. Honestly, having this opens a lot of door. Having this changes everything for me. Having this shows and proves that I've been putting a lot of work into all of, all of this, you know? And also uh, everyone that's been supporting me, every single person that's been believing in me uh, can see that everything I've been doing and I'm gonna achieve and that I'm uh, pursuing this goal is for a reason. You know, so this is a uh, this is a big door. It's a big door, and it's gonna be like very amazing. And I encourage all of you guys to come and watch it. And I'm just excited. I am. I'm truly. I'm excited for this. Well, I'm excited to call it again. Reminding the fans, September 30th, it will be available on pay per view. Stay tuned to the Instagram and Facebook pages if you want to get more information. Tickets are still available. However, I do want to finish off on this. Um, we'll go with JM first and we'll, we'll let Moses uh, respond. JM, is there anything you want to say to him? This is a rare opportunity. With This is not something we do on a regular basis here in Canada. And the likelihood is most likely most fighters meet each other at the weigh-in. First time they actually physically see each other, get to size each other up, look at each other in the eyes. Is there anything you want to say to your opponent? And if not, is there anything you want to say uh, to your fans? Um, well, yeah, to my opponent, uh, Sam, obviously we we're, already we're met twice before. Um, all I got to say is that I hope training camp is treating you well. I hope you don't have any injuries and I hope you're training hard because I want to beat the best version of yourself on September 30th. Um, likewise, thank you, thank you, and um, I wish for uh, for everything for you as well. And I wish that I hope, not wish, I hope that uh, you don't have any injury and you come in with the best, the best shape that you can ever be. You know, because oh, no. facing the best of you is only gonna be the best, right? And I'm excited. And honestly, I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know where it's gonna, how it's going to be. But what I do know is, I am leaving there with that belt. That I do. This is, will be a very highly disputed fight. Two undefeated fighters in Canada fighting for a Canadian title that means something. Guys, make sure to tune in. Thank you very much for giving me this time. Thank you. Yes. Thanks, Manny.